Coach, I wonder if there, uh, maybe in practice years and years ago, there was more fighting within the team, and, and it, if that's important now to not have fights and how you handle that, and also just out of curiosity, because I know defensive backs are often the instigators if you ever were in one as a player. Well, you know, basically I tell them that I don't, I'm getting too old to come pull somebody off of you, so stay out of a fight. But, I mean, that's just kind of a kidding way of, look, I, I think it's really, really important that um, players respect, I think, respect other players on the team, uh, have a respect for what that player is trying to do to be successful. Uh, we have a rule on our team where you don't talk to the other team, you don't talk to the other players. Uh, and a part of that is, is you know, when people talk, sometimes it, they lose focus on what they're supposed to be doing. The other part of that is, you know, when people talk and uh, they sometimes make other people emotional. And when you get emotional, I think you make emotional decisions, which, you know, can lead to loss of control, which means, you know, all of a sudden I take a shot at somebody or I take a punch at somebody. And the last I checked, those things are all penalties. Uh, some could lead to ejection. So, you know, what you're trying to practice is trying to practice the right habits so you can go in the game and do it in the game. And I know you guys probably think practice is, well, I'm just going to practice until I can get it right. I think practice is, it, is you practice it until so much you can't get it wrong. All right, so to me, there's never a time all right, for guys to lose their cool. I think those are selfish decisions uh, that are emotional decisions that don't really help your team. And if you get in the habit of doing that, then you're more apt to doing it in the game uh, because a guy gets under your skin and the next thing you know, you, you know, throw a punch. Uh, we actually lost when I was a player the, well, we won one year, I guess, but the next year, the first year I was a coach, we had a chance to win a championship again in the MAC uh, when Coach James was there when I was a GA. And we stopped them on third down and I don't know, six or something. And one of our players threw a punch at somebody and they got a personal foul penalty and they got a first down and then they went down to score and we lost the game 14 to 10. So I always think that, uh, and I've been around people that handle this a lot of different ways. You know, way back when, when I was at Michigan State and I was a defensive coordinator, um, you know, George Perlis, when we went there, you, we couldn't run it. We, we couldn't have a play without a fight. I mean, it was a fight every play, so we couldn't even have practice. So he was looking for a solution, so he got Everlast Championship boxing gloves all right, and put them on the table on the 50-yard line. All right, so if you got in a fight, you stopped practice, took your helmet off, put the gloves on, everybody got to watch the fight. And it was so embarrassing. It was so embarrassing for the guys that had to fight. They didn't even want to fight. They wouldn't even fight when everybody rounded up to see him fight. So that sort of ended the fighting. So different people handle it different ways. I would, that wouldn't be my way of doing it. We haven't had a big issue with that. Um, you know, our, our guys do a pretty good job of that. But I don't think it's a habit that you want to create in practice.